Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 12 of the FIFA 23 Everton Career Mode. Um, I know I'm 12 episodes deep and I'm mentioning this now. If you've not watched the rest of the series and you are coming to this one, make sure you go watch the rest. You will not miss a thing. It has been a very dramatic and intense series so far. We've not even reached the end of the season. We are coming to the end, so make sure you catch up on that. But now everyone's caught up. I mean, the last episode, it was a very uh, dramatic one. There were many mistakes made. There were a lot of... You know, times where I feel like I'm going to bottle the league because if you are new and you're still sticking onto this video, I don't know what you're doing, but I will mention it now. We are actually, so I just took a look at this by the way, we are fourth in the Premier League. However, we are at a point where we are a game behind Chelsea who are two points ahead. So if we win our next game, we will go a point above Chelsea and we are two games in hand over Liverpool and Wolves who are in second and third place. So we could make some real ground within the top four and guarantee pretty much Champions League football. But at the same time, that league title, it's looking very, very realistic right now. But these are the games coming up in today's episode. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad bunch of games, is it, when I'm needing points? Southampton at home should be a win. West Ham at home should be a win. Bournemouth away. I mean, I lost 3-0 to them in the first time I played them at home. And... Uh, I mean, that was down to the highlights, okay? I would have never lost that game 3-0. We've got Arsenal at home. A very difficult game. I, I, can't, I think I drew to them when I played them at the Emirates, but I'm not too sure about that. And then the last three games of the season, which will be the next episode. That will be... This is going to be a very intense ending to the season. But time to play the first game of the episode. We are against Southampton at Goodison Park. This should be a win, Okay. There's no, maybe if that happens or maybe it's not that bad, it has to be three points. I'm not just saying that because of the league title. No matter what position we are in the league, we have to be beating Southampton. So I'm going to be playing full match, well, full match. I'm going to be playing highlights, defensive and attacking because that attacking one can happily leave the game. We're going to be playing attacking and defensive highlights, strongest 11. Anthony Marshall is currently on fire, so I'm hoping to bring that to the end of the season. And hopefully... This should be the easy three points that I'm predicting. First opportunity falls to Southampton. Only three minutes in. This is not a great start, but a counter-attack. So we're adding pressure on. We are creating chances, but unfortunately they get the first one. Gineppo. He's a tricky winger. Got to be careful. Defend this. This is my first game on FIFA as well, so this is going to be very difficult to play. Come on. Defend this. Dini is out of position. Talkowski needs to cover. Don't let that cross into the box. Well done, Talkowski. Lovely touch. Oh, it falls straight back to them. Southampton attack. 27th minute. Come on. Just hold out for a draw at this moment in time. And just capitalise when we've got an attack. Kakaria. We're on about signing him. There are a lot of people that are shouting for his name in the comments. But unfortunately, he has gone Southampton. Come on then. Diallo. Oh, yes, well in Digne. Can we get an attack? We've got a corner. Not my most preferred set piece. I've not got a preferred set piece. I'm awful at every single one. But if I can, if Anthony got... Oh wait, Anthony got... Why? I'm James Ward Prowse. Cross this in. One of the reds. Cody Cody. Perfectly. It's... Oh, that, I don't know what to make of that chance. Should it have been a goal? I mean, Cody Cody were out in the open. It looked like a solid enough contact to the ball. Just got it all wrong. Great pass. Anthony got high. Oh, it's not gone to him. Free kick. 51st minute. Still nil-nil. We are defending well. Attacking. Letting us down as always. So if I... Alright, Jones will proud on this. <laughs> I need to change that piece. I keep forgetting. So if I aim for about there, put that much power... It's, I don't think it's enough power. It's hit the wall anyway. Oh, I still come out. Oh, I've passed it straight back to him. James will what have you done, lad? Solo run, Everton, Neil Mopé. Neil Mopé's got the ball. Can we get Anthony Marshall? Oh, it's Demar Gray's come on for Marshall. Can Demar Gray make that run? Behind the defender, he can. It's not exactly how I wanted the run, but it's still one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's got to finish this. 82nd minute, sorry. We've made it 1-0. We've left it till very late, but it doesn't matter. That hopefully should be three points, unless they get another chance. Nope, that is it. That is... It wasn't the easy three points that I predicted. There were a lot of... You know, Southampton had a, good, a lot of good... Uh, I can't even speak. A lot of good chances that we defended really well. And then attacking... We never really had anything besides set pieces, but luckily, 82nd minute, the blessed us, and 
Demaru Gay didn't let us down from the substitution that he got. Straight on to the second game of the episode. We are against West Ham. Um, there's been a bit of rotation to the start 11. Demaru Gray has come in place. Uh, Ramsey's come in. You can see there's been a slight bit of rotation, but that's down to fitness levels. And there's a lot of players that are just not fully fit. So I don't want to risk playing them, especially in a big occasion like this. We are against West Ham at home. I'm going to be playing attacking and defensive highlights again because I want to get the season wrapped up. But at the same time, I don't want to bottle it by playing attacking only highlights. So please, highlights, defensive and attacking, don't let me down. First opportunity falls to us then. Come on then. Free kick. It's not the greatest. So James Bob Prowse gets straight on this. I, I, I keep saying that. I need to change who are actually my default set piece takers. If I can whip this just in a bit of corridor uncertainty, I've got some very... Uh, I were hoping that fell to someone like Conor Cody, but Marshall risen to it and just unfortunately didn't win it. 16th minute, Everton crossing opportunity. These are never great for me. I never actually seem to actually cross the ball successfully, so I just play. That doesn't help. It didn't even go to me. So is this a counter-attack by West Ham? What is going on? Okay, out of zone. Were there any need for that? Crossing opportunity for Everton again. Can I actually touch the ball this time, or are you just going to let it run away from me? Ramsey, play it in. James Garner, go on then, keep going. Play it straight into Marshall. Can Demario Gray keep himself onside? Yes, he has. Cut it back. Ah, I've tried too much there. I have tried too much. Crossing opportunity for Everton. This one seems like a suitable crossing opportunity, to be fair. Jacob Ramsey, Marshall's in the middle. Can we get it straight on him? We can. Marshall's got to finish. Oh, I tried the acrobatic and it just straight at the goalkeeper. Corny kick to West Ham. That... That chance is going to bite us in the ass because that's going to be the one that's let us down, really, isn't it? Great opportunity, Anthony Marshall. You can't knock him for trying the acrobatic. It was set up right for him. Just couldn't get the finish, which is hard to believe we have Anthony Marshall's form at this moment in time. Ben Godfrey. Mark Krause, it's gone straight out. Paqueta. Lovely save, John Pretty, for keeping us in it. Fifth, second, seventh minute. West Ham attack yet again. Go do some defensive work. And Gavi, it's time for West Ham, as he, yeah? Right then. Right then, we have some uh, work to do in midfield then, lads. Who's that? Straight at Jordan Pickford. Can we get another opportunity? Go into West Ham. They are the dominating team at this moment in time. They are getting the better chances. And it's only a matter of time before they actually take one because the defence doesn't... Well, Prowse. Thank God. We'll take the free kick. Nothing's going to... I shouldn't say that. If this... Me and my big mouth, every time they get a free kick, I say it doesn't matter because nothing's going to come away. And look at what happens. This is... <sighs> Defend this, Coleman. No, Coleman, you've let it go straight past. Sagamak is probably going to finish 2-0, surely. No, nope, John Pickford, great save. Have one more opportunity. Do I not get anything in the second half? Seriously, with the first off, just whatever happens. Piquetta, penalty. John Pickford, he saves these all day long. All day... Yeah, we've lost. We've lost. That is so unfair. First off, I got like two opportunities and then the rest were West Ham. Was I just not meant to win that game? Is West Ham first in the league or something? Have they got a better team than me? I don't understand what went on with that game. But with that game played, we are now level on games with everyone in the top four. Well, to be fair, West Ham are fourth, but uh, if I would have knew that, I probably would have played it. Chelsea are... We're level on points, but goal difference, they are the better off. So we could do with Chelsea dropping points, but I cannot bottle any more points because I can't trust Chelsea to try and lose a game. Because, let's be honest, they've probably not got the hardest games coming up. They've got Newcastle away next. That could help, but at the same time, we have got Arsenal. But before we actually get into the Arsenal game, I completely forgot about this. We have got Bournemouth, so hopefully this could be our little gap to try and get three points on. I cannot afford to lose this game or even draw this game. Cannot trust Chelsea to drop any more points. We've just got to go from here and just expect Chelsea to win all their games. So this is a must win. We are away from home. We have got the 3-0 loss to them at the start of the season, but hopefully we can turn that around. Marshall needs to be able to fight this game. I'm going to play the full 90 minutes. <sighs> There's a lot of pressure on this game and it doesn't feel right. There's nothing I could do. Great bit of passing play. Bournemouth are winning all up. Very early on in the game, Dominic Solanke finishing. It's just these kind of games where I expect to win and we just fall apart. Great ball, Alex Warby. Anthony Marshall's through. We need to finish this, please. Anthony Marshall, yes. 
Never in doubt. I never doubted you for one second. Lovely finish. Get the ball. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to celebrate. Come on, let's keep this going. That real lovely bit of play under pressure. I'll tell you what. Bournemouth are playing really well. They're pressuring really well. Defending really well. This is going to be a tough game. Marshall's got a lot of space to run into. Alex Awobi. Can he get in box? We'll keep going. We'll cut it back a little bit. Neil Mopé. Can we beat his man? Yes, he can. We are winning 2-1. I'll tell you what. I've sent it in the last highlight or whatever but Bournemouth this is actually really going to be a tough game I've just got to hold out now and if I have to I will time waste I brought Dinier too far over here back, back post is looking very open and I've just gave him a penalty I've said Connor Cody loves giving away penalties and the game loves getting them this is is this eight first minutes Jordan Pickford I did it the game has absolutely blessed me then. I've dove, like, I fully dove the way it went. But then he's just gone back in himself to save it on his own. Cheers, I guess. Can we score from this? We've got a free kick. I'll take the free kick. What is going on? Can Mopé get back post-ish? Can he? No, I tried playing it. We've got a penalty. These... I feel very... I feel like a cheat when we have handballs on because it seems like the majority of my penalties, or 100% of my penalties, are handballs. But... I will take them. Finishing them is a completely different story. Anthony Marshall, please. Unbelievable scoring from this moment in time. Can he finish? This Bournemouth goalkeeper, please do a doping test off this game because he is on summit. That is an unbelievable goal. Probably a bit of luck, but that cross from James Ward Prowse on the volley, Luca Dinia back post, surely sealed the game off now. What even happened? The Bournemouth defence has not been like this all game and just decided from a corner just to go sleep. I just... A good job I scored that other goal because if I would have conceded at that in like the 80th minute or even now when I'm 2-1 up and to bring it 2-2, I'd have been livid. Just seeing we've got Arsenal next, that's not great. Oh, no, it's through. Surely, Marshall, can you beat a man? I'm going to shoot. I probably should have passed. But Anana finishes. It comes onto the pitch as a substitution. And put, surely, surely puts the game to bed. Unbelievable finish. I doubt myself about the Marshall because I wanted to sweaty it. But it just never, the opportunity never come. So I finished it. And what a finish. Dominic Solanke scores another. What is going on? It's gone down as a Dinier on goal, which is a tad unfair. Yes, it were a bad touch. Probably could have kept it out. But it's on target. That is very harsh. Is it just me or was that very harsh? Oh, I had another chance in me then. Bournemouth managed to score three against us yet again. But look at this time. We managed to score four. Come on with the three points. A very, very tough game. And this is why... I'm 50-50 on whether I need to change the difficulty because yes, I won 4-3. There were a lot of goals in this. But between highlights, I struggled so much trying to defend Bournemouth or trying to pick up the ball. So this is why I'm still unsure, but we'll see how the rest of the season unfolds and then I'll make a decision. Moving on to the last game of the episode and the one that I've been dreading the most. We are against Arsenal at Goodison Park. This is going to be a very tough game. I mean, you've seen what they're doing in real life. They are doing incredibly well. The job that Artes is doing is incredibly well. Um, they are title contenders this season, let's not lie to ourselves. The team they've got on FIFA as well is still incredible. Odegaard, Jesus, Saka still in there. Um, I've noticed, I don't know if it's the right Marquinhos, but if that's the Marquinhos on PSG playing left wing, I'm all for it. Following on from that, we've actually made a slight change to the starting 11 with Marshall coming in as a number 9 with more page dropping to the bench. Demar Gray filling in that right wing spot instead of Marshall. The front three is looking tasty. I just hope we could get three points from this. I mean, a point's not the end of the world, but I just can't... I just can't believe or just come to the conclusion that Chelsea might drop points. I've just got to believe they're going to win every single game and just hope we can match them. But anyway, that's a lot of talking. Let's go into this game, eh? Talkowski's not the quickest, but he could keep up with him. Just get a block on, don't let the cross come in. Well done, Talkowski. Great defenders. Come on, straight back on him. Straight back on him. Don't let the cross come in. Gordon. Don't let him pass around us, neither. It's a great bit of play. Yep, I knew that ran ball. I mean, they've scored, so if we manage to save this, I appreciate you here. That is not the Marquinhos on PSG, but they have got a penalty. Gabriel Jesus stepping up. Jordan Pickford. Make yourself a legend. He's saved it as well. The EA has done us very nicely. Arsenal scored, but they pulled it back for the penalty, which they have missed. Thank God for that. 
Telkowski, you've got to get back to him. Oh, it's Saka though, he's got a bit of pace. Odegaard's played through. Jordan Pickford comes out and that is 1-0 Arsenal. Very, very poor defensively by me. And to be fair, I didn't have many options to choose from to try and defend. The defenders were just nowhere to be seen. It's not a great start. We've started really poorly in all the games we've played in this episode. We've just got to turn it around now. Come on, we've got Ben White on pace, but we'll try and cut it into Alex Iwobi. Alex Iwobi's got space. Can we beat him? Marshall, help him out. Can we get him finished, please? Anthony Marshall, a bit of hope for this game. It is 1-1. We've still got a lot of defensive work to do. That was a very, very lucky attacking situation. Alex Iwobi played really well to hold it up. I didn't think Marshall was going to make a run, but he did. Just stay calm. You're not the quickest, but please make that run. Yes, Coleman. Well done. Anthony the Gordon's through the middle. Can we play one more? Alex Wobby against his former club. He puts us in the lead. We'll celebrate because why not? Why not? They never believed in the man. They gave him to us. Thank you very much for this specimen of a man. He's in insane form right now in real life. He's in insane form on FIFA. Just what a man to score this on a special occasion. Oh, free kick in a great position for James Ward Prowse. If I put that there, add a bit of power on it, try and green time it. Done really well. Oh, you just want to hear it. Okay, we've got a penalty from that. You just would give us that. That was unbelievable. One of the best free kicks I've ever took. I've never scored one in this game. And we've just got a penalty. That's a bit harsh. But Anthony Marshall steps up. Missed the last one I took. But got the same place. Bit of power. Hopefully he can put it away. And the goalkeeper saved it yet again. We need a penalty taker, lads. But we don't need a corner taker. Because James Ward-Prowse can absolutely take these. James Talkowski. Is that another penalty? We've got another penalty. What do I do? Seriously, I'm going to give it Marshall again because why not? I'm going the other side. I'm going the other I've put loads of power on that. Unbelievable finish. That's how you take him. Do the goalkeepers just always go to the left or? I don't mind either way. Anthony Marshall puts the second one away. Doesn't doubt himself the second time. We are 3 1 up against Arsenal at home. This is unbelievable. Anthony Marshall. A lot of space to run to. He's got a pass to. Brilliant use of pace. Anthony Marshall, can we get it across the box to Anthony Gordon? It is a very unselfish bit of play by Anthony Marshall. Straight to his counterpart with Anthony Gordon. What a goal. Love the team building goal. Straight from a counter attack. We are 4 1 against Arsenal. I cannot believe what is happening. Defenders out. There's only a couple of seconds left, please. It doesn't really matter. I just don't want to concede any necessary goals. But we finished it. Full time. 4-1 against Arsenal at Goodison Park, a game that was very much dreading, turned out to be, I mean, it was a hard game from, obviously we went 1-0 down, from then to when we went about 3-1, it was very difficult nonetheless, but great bit of teamwork, great, great display, of just individual skill that game. Could we actually win the league? This is mental. And with them unbelievable three points out of the way, Let's see where we are in the league, shall we? We have earned our top spot back in the Premier League, and it's looking good. We've got Liverpool, Liverpool below us, as it should be, with two points behind us. We are on the same games played. Um, Chelsea, if they win their next game, could go level on points, which would take us above us, which is guttering. So, I mean, who else Chelsea got next? Can we actually see? I think they've got Nottingham Forest, or is that before? I think they've got... No, they've actually got Brighton at home next. So, I mean, they should win that. So we may potentially at the start of the next episode not be a top spot, but it still looks good, doesn't it? But this is where I'm going to end today's video. Hope you all have enjoyed. It's been a roller coaster of emotions of an episode with some uh, shocking results, some incredible football, and we've ended off at top spot for now, anyways. Next episode will contain the season finale, so make sure you don't miss that one. All this hard work will come to the end in the next episode, and then straight on to season two for the episode after that. It's been an incredible season so far. Let's end it high, shall we? Thank you all for watching. Take care, stay safe. And let's hopefully next video be lifting that Premier League trophy.